y'all it's Nisha here and today's video is going to be a review over the Shea Moisture Sugarcane Extract and Metafoam Seed Silicone Free Miracle Mask with Marshmallow Root and I actually picked this up from Ulta and it intrigued me because backstory so I used to love Shea Moisture which a lot of us used to love and probably still do love um, I used to kill the curl enhancing smoothie. I really like the Manuka honey and Mafura oil um, deep conditioner. I used to love their, um, there's this one shampoo from the Deep Repair, I think, line that um, it's like in the yellow packaging. But anyways, there used to be a lot of products that I loved and I used them consistently. And when I say consistently, I mean that's all I use. And I don't know if my hair got used to it. I don't know if Shea Moisture changed the formula. But basically the only thing that I really still like now is the Manuka Honey and Mafura Oil Deep Conditioner. So I was like, let me try some new Shea Moisture products, pick up some new um, products, and just see if I like them or not. So I picked this one up. The funny thing is, is I think this is kind of like a knockoff of the It's a 10 Miracle Mask. Now the main difference between this mask and It's a 10 is, number one, the price. I think that one's like $30, whereas depending on where you get this, from it can range to like 10 or 12 to like $13 and also this is silicone free which I think the it's a 10 mask has silicone so if you're into like the curly girl method where um, you're not supposed to use silicones uh, this is supposed to be like a, a nice little alternative for you so we're just gonna go ahead and apply this to my hair I'm applying this to clean hair. I went ahead and co-washed with one of my favorite co-washes by As I Am, which is the Grow Wash Cleansing Cream Conditioner from the Pomegranate and Passion Fruit line. So I'm going to read what it says. It says, this radiance reviving treatment elevates the magic of natural ingredients and a miracle formula that nourishes the scalp, restores moisture, reduces frizz, and enhances flexibility, softness, and shine to hair. An innovative blend of sugarcane extract, meadow foam seed oil, and marshmallow root allow this formula to mimic all of the aphaceous benefits of silicones without the risk of buildup. It's your miracle worker for smooth, manageable, lustrous hair. Apply generously to wet or dry hair, so you can use it for wet or dry hair. Comb thoroughly from roots to ends for even distribution, leave in for five minutes, rinse thoroughly, for extra conditioning, cover hair with a plastic cap, apply moderate heat for up to 30 minutes, style as usual. So opening this up, and I don't know if you're going to be able to see this because it is white and it's also runny. There you go. Um, it is very runny, it is super liquidy, it's probably the most liquidy uh, deep conditioner I have ever used or seen before. Um, and usually with very liquidy and like thin consistency conditioners, they usually have a lot of slip. So we'll see if that's the case for this one. And the smell is like a very light fragrance. Um, it's not very overpowering. It smells very fresh, so not too bad. So, so far it has amazing slip, has so much slip, my fingers are just running through my hair and just is melting away the knots, like it feels really good. Okay y'all, so I am done applying this deep conditioner to my hair. And first things first, or first initial thoughts, is that 
It went on to my hair very easily, very smoothly. It has a lot of slip for me to detangle my hair. But as far as if there is like moisture, that I'm not sure. My hair, my hair doesn't feel super moisturized. But you never know until you rinse out the deep conditioner. That's kind of like the true test of whether your hair is really like moisturized or not because it could feel one way when you put on your hair and then feel completely different once you rinse it out. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm actually going to follow the instructions and I'm going to apply, apply heat to my hair. I'm going to apply my um, thermal hot head on my head and let this deep conditioner sink in for like 30 minutes and then I'll rinse it out and I will be back with my final thoughts. I am done rinsing out the deep conditioner out of my hair and I'm going to give you all my thoughts. And I don't know, I'm a little bit confused by this deep conditioner. Number one is because it had so much slip. I was able to detangle my hair really easily. My hair looks very defined and it looks very shiny but I feel like my hair isn't as moisturized as it normally is whenever I rinse out like the rest of the deep conditioners that I use it's like the moisture just it's not there my hair doesn't feel dry but it's not as moisturized as it normally feels so would I repurchase this deep conditioner I would not repurchase this I think that this is a very good detangler. So if you need something to just melt away your knots, it's easy to like glide through your hair and you can glide your fingers, your comb, your brush, whatever through your hair. I think this will definitely help, but at the same time, there's other conditioners that also provide moisture that you can use to detangle your hair. So, like I said, I don't think I'll be repurchasing this. It's not terrible, but it's, not great <laughs> I don't know how else to put it but yeah this was just okay for me I will continue to use it though hmm will I I'm lying I think I'm gonna take this back to the store <laughs> and get my money back I don't think there's no point in me holding on to something that doesn't really work the best for me I might as well just go get my money back and use the products that actually do work for me so I will be taking this back sadly okay y'all so that is it for my Shea Moisture Miracle Mask review if y'all have any questions definitely leave them down below make sure you give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't done so already and I will see y'all in the next video bye